School may be out for summer, but the AG's safety task force isn't taking any breaks, and this week they continued their inspections of the public school campuses. Today, it was John F. Kennedy High School that took the hits, and a portion of the facility was shut down. The school is of the island's oldest school campuses, and its 60 years is showing with an abundance of structural problems, leaks and electrical issues which need to be addressed, and it was enough to force the closure of the gym. We will close down, we're going to close down the entire facility, okay? Because you just have multiple uh, health and safety issues here. The task force took a tour of the gym, starting with the locker rooms, which were cited for electrical, lighting, leaks, and other moisture issues. Rusty lockers were also pointed out as being a problem. The weight room was also tagged as being off limits. They've got uh, electrical panels back there with combustibles and other, it's just in total, uh, it's dilapidated and in total, uh, it's a total fire hazard, okay? So actually we're, we're shutting this, this area here right now. But even more concerning is the area which houses huge amounts of people for sporting events and school activities, JFK Athletic Director Robert Vasquez. My concern also is, is this wall right here. Because of the recent earthquakes that are happening, oh, right the, uh, the beam here is, is coming out more. Yeah, so. like, I don't think you know this is proper right here. I think it's very unsafe. Because uh, if you look, there's initial uh, cracks that are starting to come because of the recent earthquakes that are happening. So it's open. This whole area right here leaks. Literally, the recommendation is, is this to barricade it like this? Uh, I have no idea, sir. When I came, when I came over to take the, the job, it was already there. The entire gym was, as a result, shut down, and fire inspector Captain Joey Munya asked that a structural engineer come in to inspect the site. The AG did point out that locker rooms could still be used, but entry to them could not be through the gym.